Hey guys, Sue Lamb here with Team Ronin. Today I'm really excited to talk about our new product line, the Ronin Assaulter Chest Rack. I was designing this equipment, I was basing off of my experience within the Special Forces, and our, our mission can change anytime. It can quickly change from low vis operations to direct action to reconnaissance operation. So when designing this piece of equipment, this is a series uh, of equipment that's going to be adapted to all of our, our Ronin line of equipment that's coming out soon. So this first piece of equipment, the Assaulter chest rack is used for infiltration phase of the operation. Long mobility movements uh, with heavy rucks, triple canopy jungles, long desert mobility movements. We needed something that's light, that's able to move into uh, a last cover and conceal or ORP prior to hitting that objective. And that's when we plus up into our Ronin Assaulter Light. Every piece of equipment that you see on here is adaptive. This means that it can hook on and it can plus up to a medium size assault. Let's talk over the Ronin Assaulter Light chest rack system. The chest rack system has a X harness and it moves down into heavy duty Fastex that can hold heavier weight. On both sides, you're gonna have metal G hooks that can quickly attach on to our new Ronin Assaulter Light plate carrier that's coming soon. Both sides has first spear tube systems that can quickly uh, jettison out of the equipment or you can utilize this to attach on to our uh, Ronin Assaulter Light plate carrier that's coming soon. On the front panel, it's a laser cut uh, pile system. So any molly pouches can be attached onto the front panel itself. The insert uh, comes with uh, five, five, six inserts, but it's open cavity for you to put in any other insert. So you can move from 7.62 to 5.56 to nine millimeter. And all of these inserts will be coming soon and will be made available. The second uh, re retention is a bungee retention with pull string. So this is a removable bungee uh, that allows you to either keep the bungee in place or you can uh, remove it. With the thermal plastic inserts, it does have really heavy duty retention, but this will give you that second layer uh, of retention. On the back side of the chest rack system, it's lined with hook, and this hook will made onto the Assaulter Light plate carrier that's coming soon. As you see guys, we have attachment points that you can hook on carabiners, that you can attach on gloves or any other mission essential equipment. The back side is lined with hook. So it mates up. So with the G hooks, you can see it mates into the holders, the G hook holders. Alright guys, let's talk about my basic loadout on the Ronin Assaulter chest rack system. So on the wings of the chest rack system, I need a light, you know, I carry radios on both sides. For me, uh, I needed it for mission essential reasons. Uh, I needed to talk to the snipers, the assault troop, I needed to call in fire. So for us, we had to carry two radios and the wing area allowed me to do that. Uh, this is the new uh, design uh, radio pouch for Ronin and that's coming soon uh, in the second week of July. But it fits the uh, PRC-152 radio. You know, not everybody's going to need to carry two radios. If you're not in law enforcement, if you're not in the military, you probably don't need to carry two radios. But um, if, if you don't need to carry tactical radios on your gear, I recommend uh, our our new design GP medium pouch. And this GP medium pouch is specially cut and engineered to be able to fit on the wings of our uh, chest rack system itself. If you look at the uh, GP medium pouch, this will be coming soon, the second week of July. You have a small admin pouch and you have a large uh, open pouch so you can put all your mission essential items into your uh, GP medium pouch. You could put this on this side and you can put a, um, a medical kit on the other side as well. 
When we're moving into the front side panel of the chest rack, again, it comes sleek, um, laser cut piles. So any Molly style pouch can be added. Personally for me, I like to move my pistol mags up high when I'm either doing urban climbing or I'm doing long um, jungle mobility movements. I like to get everything off my uh, hip line just so it allows me uh, more mobility. So when urban climbing, I take my mags off of my hip line and I like to ride it high. Uh, I like to use the elastic style pouches that, um, that we just designed. This is the prototype pouch and it's interlined with the thermal plastic uh, material. It, it's really rigid guys and allows uh, a lot of retention on your mags when you ride this high. So this is coming um, second week of July and this is gonna replace the, uh, the regular elastic pouches that you see here. If you look at the center line, this is an admin pouch. Personally for me, I love admin pouches just so I can keep my maps, my pins, everything I need, postal salt to mark rooms, to mark uh, threats, individuals. Uh, I keep everything here. If you open up our admin pouch, you'll see it's lined on the back with the thermal plastic, making it very rigid. Uh, we have pin slots in here and we also have uh, places where you can put maps and, and everything you need for mission essential uh, products. You move on to here. Personally, I like to carry two uh, GP small pouches. And the reason why I like to carry the GP small pouches is because I like to put, you know, a multi-purpose tool, a letterman tool on my chest rack. A lot of times uh, in the you know, in the field after doing combat raids, we move back to a patrol base and we have to clean our weapons or we have a malfunction, you know, in, in a street fight, you definitely need to have some kind of, you know, uh, multi-purpose tool there to clear that, uh, that malfunction. I also like um, to carry, you know, a tourniquet pouch. And all these pouches are available at ronintactics.com. I also can carry a tourniquet pouch on uh, my chest rack, it's really up to you. Or you can carry another uh, uh, small GP pouch to put you know, your TAC lights or whatever uh, mission essential equipment you need. Now guys, this, this uh, chest rack comes open uh, and you can insert in that kangaroo open uh, slot with different type of inserts. Again, you're gonna have, um, it's gonna come basic with the 556 uh, inserts, but we're going to release uh, nine millimeter inserts. We're going to release 762 in the major weapon platform uh, is out there. So this chest rack is adapted to any weapon system that you're going to be able to carry. If you flip out the back side, you'll see it's uh, right now it's a X harness design. The X harness design has six adjustable points within this chest rack system. That means I can make this thing as tight as I need to or as loose as I need to depending on the mission. It can adjust to my body and the forms of my body so the chest rack does not move on the shooter itself. We are planning on making a H uh, harness to this so there's going to be a lot more attachments uh, uh, that you're going to see being able to adapt onto this system. Again, this system is one of the first piece of equipment that's going to be adapted to all of our future equipment uh, that's coming out really soon.